Hello, I'm Austin Anderson, and this is Homeowner Hacks with Burton. I got an issue with my electrical. The lights went off in my dining room, and I thought it was the light bulb, so I changed them. The lights still wouldn't come back on, so I called Burton, and they're gonna show me an easy fix. So this is the breaker box? That's correct. So yeah, all these breakers um, have individual purposes. They're all circuits ran through your house. Um, and you, you'll see the labels right here, so you can kind of follow with the two with the air conditioner there. You can follow the breakers on here. So even without the labeling, and then not all panels are going to have the orange indicator like yours has to tell you it's trip. But if you go down and you look through the breakers, you'll usually find one. You'll, the, all, all breakers are just in the middle position, just like that. So it may not have that orange indicator light, but if you go through your panel, you'll probably see one directly in the middle like that. These are all to the left, this one's stuck in the middle. And it would just be a simple off, on, reset. What you have is these breakers, what they're designed to do is, you'll see on the handle they have sizes. There's some say 15, some say 20, some say 40. What, the, what they're designed to do is turn off when they hit that amperage. So oh. the wire is only rated for 15 amps, so when you hit 15 amps, this breaker, it pops, it trips, because otherwise the wire will start burning. Okay. So the, when, the, when the things trip and if it's actually the breaker doing its job, we're glad it happens. So if the dining room lights went out, uh, are there other things that are hooked up to those lights as well, possibly? Uh, Is that what yes. sent it over? Yes, it's possible, yes. Sometimes there'll be dining room plugs on with lights, and if you plug something big in there, um, it could easily trip the breaker with it. Or you could have a, a problem in the light fixture, um, oh. or even one of the bulbs. So. And what kind of um, issues have you seen with that? Um, you know, I've seen bulbs burn out and they've actually caused the light fixture to have the sockets get hot and start a little fire in there. Um, okay. I've seen switches that have just arced out and sparked behind them and that's trip breakers as well. And wire actually moves a little bit when you when you turn voltage to it. Okay. It actually jumps a little bit. So if you don't have tight connections, um, things can come loose and over time they just kind of arc and go out and actually start burning up a little bit. This breaker right here, you'll notice that there's an orange marker on there because your breaker type actually has an indicator. Oh, um, some okay. Do, That's some all right. I was wondering what that was. Yeah. So if you actually go down the line, you'll see that orange. That orange right. That means it trips. So we have a uh, overcurrent fault in there, or uh, or an electrical fault somewhere. Now the solution isn't always just to go and reset this. Sometimes you want to do a little investigating because something could be going on with it. The breaker's telling you that, and you just reset it could be having the same issue here very shortly. Um, in this case, you want to get this breaker reset. You'll feel it quick, take it all the way off, reset, make sure it didn't trip again. We don't have our indicator anymore. Light should be back on. But say it trips again, so then it might be something yes. a little bit more serious like the wiring or If it continues like to that. trip, yes, um, we probably have a, a fault somewhere. Um, it could be up in the light, could be in the switch, could be in some of the outlets. We'll just do a, a diagnosis, an investigation, and we'll, uh, we'll find the problem. Okay. You know, if your friend had some breakers, he didn't know what they did, and he had some labeling issues, and maybe things aren't labeled right, or you have no labeling at all, that's where we'd come in. we go through the house, do an extensive evaluation, and just find what every breaker does for you. All right, well, that was an easy fix, but if you try that and you're still having issues, just call Burton.